Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we've got some exciting news for all you Manchester United supporters out there. The club has just announced their support for plans to regenerate the area around Old Trafford, and they're calling it tremendously exciting. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the incoming 25% owner of Manchester United, has big plans for the stadium. He's considering either building a brand new ground on the same land or giving the current site a major revamp. And guess what? These plans to regenerate the wider area, initiated by Trafford Council, have the full backing of the club. Colette Roche, United's chief operating officer, expressed her enthusiasm for the project, saying, This vision for Trafford Wharfside is tremendously exciting and we are proud to be supporting Trafford Council with their ambitious plans for an area with such huge potential. The club is committed to working closely with the council and other stakeholders to ensure that any future development work at Old Trafford complements the vision and benefits the local community. So, what exactly is this vision? Well, it involves the creation of five districts, with one of them being the Stadium District, also known as the Manchester United area. According to the council, this plan aims to create a world-class setting for the Manchester United Stadium, as well as other major sites like the Imperial War Museum and the Manchester Ship Canal. Liz Patel, the council's executive member for Economy and Regeneration, shared her excitement, saying, the Trafford Wharfside Master Plan offers a regeneration vision for a hugely important area within Trafford. Working with our partners and private developers, we will be looking to create new homes, new neighborhoods, and help create a world-class setting for the Manchester United Stadium. So, Manchester United fans, get ready for some exciting changes coming your way. Keep an eye out for updates on this regeneration project because it's going to have a big impact on your beloved club and the local community. That's all for now, folks. Stay tuned to Football News Center for more exciting football updates. See you next time.